Hello everybody and welcome back to Playtech TV. I'm your host Kevin and today we're going to be talking about the Chromebook, the Chromebox and Chrome OS. So before we get into Chrome OS, let's talk about the Chromebook and the Chromebox. So the Chromebook is basically like a netbook and it has similar specs. They're very good for being portable, for students, for a business professional that's going to be traveling. And while using the Chrome OS, which is very minimalistic, which we'll get to later, it has very long battery life and very fast boot. The Chrome Box, on the other hand, would be good as a at-home Chrome OS, which you could mount on the back of your monitor, or as a media playback device, which you could mount on the back of your TV. The Chromebook and Chromebox both have very limited hard drives. So the current book you see there, the Lenovo, only has 16 gigabytes of onboard storage. So most of the storage is going to be cloud-based. Now these do come with 100 gigabytes of Google Drive storage for two years. Now cloud-based storage is very good because it can be accessed anywhere. You're not going to lose all your files to a virus or otherwise, so it's very safe and secure. And it's very easy to use with its integration with the Chrome OS, so it's almost like using a traditional hard drive. The Chrome box comes with the Chrome box itself, the stand, which can be used to mount the Chrome box on the back of a monitor or TV, and the power supply and cables. Around the back of the Chrome box, we see the power import an ADSL port, two USB 3.0 ports, HDMI port, display port, and a headphone jack, which can also be used to plug in speakers. Boot times are very fast on Chrome OS due to it being very minimalistic in nature. Should take about seven seconds. There we go. And you're ready to go. So here, here is the Chrome OS. Instead of a start button, down the bottom left, you have the Apps tab. This would bring you to all your apps you have installed on the operating system. Right now this is Chrome and Chrome Store and the files, which would bring you to all your downloads and files, both on the small internal storage and your Google Drive. Down the bottom right is information about the keyboard layout, uh, your internet connection via Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, volume, and also has your battery both in time and percentage. So chances are, if you know how to use Google Chrome, you should be able to get around Chrome OS very easily as the whole operating system is based off the Google Chrome browser and based around it. So if you want to get an idea of what it's like to use a Chrome OS, then download Google Chrome and try it as your web browser and imagine a whole system based around it. And that's what using a Chrome OS feels like. So there are a lot of productivity applications available in the Chrome store for you to use. It is very easy to use and a lot of the programs are very good. However, you are limited in a few senses, like if we want to install Skype on this Chromebook and we search it in the Chrome store, nothing will come up. This is because it's not compatible and you'll find this is the case with a lot of popular programs. And this is the only drawback to Chrome OS is its compatibility. Not a lot of things seem to fit with it. If you can't find it in the Chrome Web Store, then it most likely will not work on the Chrome OS. The Chromebox and Chromebook also feature a low price, which makes them even more attractive to students and businesses. So in conclusion, who do I recommend the Chrome OS for in the forms of a Chromebook or a Chromebox? Well, for students, it's fantastic. Using Google Drive is very easy. Uh, saving your files there means you don't run the risk of ever losing them. And Google Docs and other things are very easy to use. So it's perfect for students, plus the long battery life. Now it's also very good for business professionals. You could take a Chromebook like this with you anywhere and you could then still make presentations and PowerPoint. 
and save all your files securely to your Google Drive and things like that. So it's also very good for business professionals. The last one it would be good for is parents with children. So with Chrome OS what's good is you can set up a supervised account which means that you can see what sites your children may be accessing and then limit it or uh, you know, be able to control what they're viewing on the Chrome OS. So that's also a very good reason to consider one of these. As I said, the only downfall is the compatibility. And that's the only vice with it. It's sort of like a tablet in that sense, in that there's only limited compatibility. Now, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to Playtech TV, and we'll see you all next time.